Well, there's a lot of dangers when it comes to fireworks, and now there's this growing trend of actually skipping the pyrotechnics altogether and going with this, light displays like this one. This is at Sutro Tower. And Lauren Toms reports it's celebrating more than just Independence Day. Firework and light shows in San Francisco tonight have a bit of a constructed view because of the fog, but here at Sutro Tower where powerful light lasers are creating a spectacle that can be seen for miles, the fog is all part of the show. Like many on this 4th of July, Raul Valles is hitting the barbecue, but not in your average backyard. Tonight, he's at Sutro Tower, celebrating 50 years of the iconic structure. You know, I think it's great. Um, you know, for the most part, Sutro Tower just is, uh, is just your 977 foot tall tower in the quiet west side of town. Um, and uh, when it's doing its job, no one notices. But this week, the goal is to notice it and to celebrate the tower that sends broadcast signals to a huge swath of the Bay Area. Valles is just the fifth person to hold his position leading tower operations. And it's fitting. He spent three decades in radio broadcasting. Which is now KBCW, your sister station was uh, KBHK Channel 44, and that's where I got my cartoons. So uh, it was very important to me. <laughs> It's a mild coincidence that the tower's anniversary falls on Independence Day. The lasers shoot all the way up the center of the 977-foot tower. It just happens to fall on July 4th, um, but uh, you know, we get to celebrate our country and get to celebrate an icon of San Francisco. And, you know, it's a twofer. But not if Carl the Fog gets in the way, as it seems is the plan tonight. But the mastermind behind the installation, Ben Davis, says that's all part of the plan. Really, you know, we've named Carl the Fog as the artist on this piece. The truth is that Sutro is sort of the frame, the sky is the canvas, the light might be the paint, but Carl is the artist. Twelve boxes surround the tower and hold the most powerful light lasers on the market. And on Independence Day, the team is staying true to the occasion with red, white, and blue lights. Because this is a patriotic city, for sure. Um, and, and I think we have the power to define what patriotism really means in America. So I'm very proud of this city. For Valles, it's a special affair, and he hopes not only San Franciscans, but anyone in the Bay Area can celebrate Sutro Tower this week as far as the eye can see. The laser installation will continue for five nights, one celebrating each decade at Sutro Tower. And I'm told as the week goes on, we may get to see just about every color of the rainbow, so keep your eyes on our humble Sutro Tower.